All we gotta do is helping hand and size spam. Right? Clap, clippity clap. <laughs> Flutterbane goes for protect. Okay, fine. But we'll defeat you next turn. Oh, and they live. Oh, and they EQ'd. Oh, hold up. That's bad. Good afternoon, boys. Welcome to another VGC Battle Save Regulation app <laughs> video, bringing you a Del Fox team. Del Fox with Expanding Force, Flamethrower, Scorching Sands, Fairy Terra, Twisted Spoon, and Magician, which I learned doesn't really make a lot of sense and isn't that great of an ability, to be entirely honest. But hey, I mean, neither is Blaze. <laughs> But yeah, we got a Delphox team. Delphox, believe it or not, is faster than Iron Crown that doesn't have a speed booster and has a, you know, not too far off special attack from Iron Crown either. Base 114 special attack, base 100 special defense, and base 104 speed. So not the worst Pokemon in the world can still hit like an absolute truck. And guess what? Now it gets Expanding Force. Expanding Force next to the Indeedy, next to the Redirection, Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, etc. Indeedy. That's able to just keep the Delphox alive for as long as possible and knock out as many non-dark types as you can see. Speaking of dark types, we have here the Incineroar with Darkest Lariat, Flare Blitz, Fake Out, and Parting Shot, running the, just the standard Incineroar with a Poison Terra this time around. We got the Urshifu and the Ogre Pond kind of completing our Grass Water Fire Core. Ogre Pond is a Teal Mask Ogre Pond, so it's gonna have Defiant just to help against the Intimidators on the opposing side of the field. And also, as our speed control, we got the Tornadoes with Icy Wind, Tailwind, and Taunt. Let's see what it does, man. Let's see what Delphox does. The team is from Porgy Blast. Was posted on the Porgy Sports Discord. So thank you so much, Porgy, uh, Porgy Blast, for posting this team there. I'm excited to try it, right? I'm excited to try pretty much every new starter that we got this time around. We finally ended up on Delphox. We've tried multiple other fire types, like we had Embor not too long ago. So I'm excited to see how Delphox holds up as a more recent fire starter. You know, if you could give something expanding force, it's probably going to be good. So I have high hopes here. Anyway. Let's get on to today's video. <laughs> hey, opponent has a funny name. All right. Going up against the Docs Bun. All right. I'm not too mad about seeing Docs Bun. I'll be real. Granted, it's not great that the majority of my team is physical and I'm up against a Docs Bun. I'm definitely going to need our Urshifu somewhere in the back here. But I am a little bit mad about seeing the Chiyu, especially since Chiyu is most likely going to be a lead for my opponent. But you know what I can do? Before I go for the size spam, I can go Torn. And I can go Ursh. That should at least scare the Chiyu into a false sense of security to go for a Ghost Terra. Then later, once one of those two Pokemon go down, I got the size spam going and I can size spam every single thing on that team until tomorrow. I think that's gonna be the play. That's gonna be the meta. That's gonna be what I do. I think I think the best way for us to go about this is to try to force my opponent's hand into doing something they might want not want to do normally. There's a Chiyu, there's a Dox Bun. Never seen this before in my life. But you know what? Let's see if we can force this Terra. We're gonna go right away. Do I Terra? Maybe not. Is my Delphox a Psychic Terra? Because it, it was Fairy Terra. Okay. Alright, if it's Fairy Terra, then maybe I do go for the Terra here with the Ursh. I do just try to do as much damage as I possibly can right about now. I wish I could Rain Dance, but I can't. Oh well, I'm going to Tailwind. Yeah, I'm gonna tell one. Yes, we got the terror. That's all we wanted. All we wanted was to get them away from the dark type. That is it. Doesn't matter what typing it is, as long as it's not dark. You think my win con's on the field right now? Nah, nah. This ain't my win con. My win con's in the back. It's a fox, not a bear. Whew, all right, we're in our we're in our opponent's brain right now. We're unplugging some wires. We're replugging some other wires. Now, if they get a KO on me, that is just ideal in every sense of the word. All right, great damage onto this Dox Bun, by the way. It's not gonna get the KO. If I was a Rain 
tornadoes, I might have been able to get the KO, but alas, it's okay. There's the lava plume. They're gonna get the well baked body, raise the defense sharply, probably go for a body press onto somebody. Fine, fair, whatever. Onto my Ursh. Ursh is still here. Cool. <laughs> Ursh, li Ursh lives. Now, in this situation, I think I just go for the Chiyu now this time. Just fire off a Bleak Wind. I don't see a problem with that. Listen, I don't care about this Doc Bun whatsoever. This Doc's Bun, not afraid of it. It's gone now. Surging Strikes now on to the Chiyu. Best of luck. Bop and bop. Doesn't matter what Terry you are, unless you're resisted. <laughs> Listen, not not a bad showcase at all, but Del Fox didn't show up to it. Granted, my opponent can maybe make some comebacks here. I don't know how, but let's see if they find a way. Ooh, D Knight. Okay, well, knee speed will maybe be a problem. D Knight and Flutter. Okay. Honestly, I want to let them do what they're going to do. I'm going to attempt an Iron Head just in case. And let's just go for the Icy Wind here. Just in case they let me knock out their Flutter Man here. They already burnt Terra, so... Even though I'm pretty sure a Surging Strikes would have been more, dam more damage. Not that it matters. I'm legitimately just trying to get my Delphox on the field in all honesty. All right, there's an E-Speed, didn't matter. My Icy Wind should be going next, and I should just be locking in the speed tier for whenever my Delphox comes in. And also, if they are locked onto that E-Speed now, not a chance anymore. All right, decent chip damage, I'll take it. Tornadus, you're going down. It's all good. Moonblast in the Torn, fine, fair, dandy, guess what? We might look like we're evenly matched. Nah, nah. Win conditions coming out now. Let's whip out the win conditions. Del Fox is here. Dater is here also. No more e speeds for you, D Knight. All we gotta do is helping hand and size spam. Right? Helping hand, expanding force. Good luck. Best of luck. Clap, clippity clap. <laughs> Del Fox with Psychic Spoon in second terrain. Fluttermane goes for protect. Okay, fine. But we'll defeat you next turn. Don't you worry. Here's an expanding force. They didn't go for extreme speed, which means they're not banded either. Oh, and they live. Oh, and they EQ'd. Oh, hold up. That's bad. I think I live one EQ. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Never worried. Not once. Okay. Anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> and let's hope we get a KO. I'm surprised we did it. They might be assault vested then. Like, I'm legitimately surprised we didn't get that KO. That's wild. Let's try again. Clip clappity clap expanding force. Neat. All right, we did it. <laughs> we got there eventually. It took a couple of tries, but the Del Fox got some KOs this video, too specifically, and we defeated Funny Name. All right, let's see how the rest of these go. If they go anything like that, this is going to be a fun time. On to the next. Marcelo BR with the Hisuian Samurat. Ah. <sighs> Not looking forward to seeing that guy. I'll be honest. I'll be real. Also not looking forward to... To that Rillaboom changing my terrain on me. You know what? This seems like a pretty good opportunity for Ogre Pond lead. Because our Ogre Pond actually does a lot of work into their team. We'll bring the Torn, and then have our Psy Spam in the back. 
If we see this Samurott, we gotta throw everything humanly possible at it. Or at least try to force a Terra out of it. So we can just move it away from the dark typing, right? That's the whole trick with Psy Spam. You gotta maneuver around the dark types. And if you can't maneuver around the dark types, you gotta make the dark types maneuver around you. So we're gonna bring in the thing in the lead right away that threatens the Hisuian Samurott. That being the the Ogre Pond here. Also, they don't really have much on their team to really like mess with our side of the mess with our, our Ogre Pond except for that Tornadus. And that's not a very reliable move to rely on. Hence why it's unreliable. All right, blue shades for Ridge Ref and Samurott. Samurott's here. Okay. We planned for this. We prepared for this. We know what's coming. Do I burn my Terra for this? Maybe not. I kind of want to knock off for a giraffe. And fire off a bleak wind here. We forced the Terra. Perfect. All we needed, all we wanted, all we have. Amazing. The Samrot's no longer that. It's probably... Oh, no. It's still dark. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> It just went from dark to darker. Yikes. Well, here's a knockoff into the fridge. Actually, if I get this bleak wind off, a lot of, I, I, I stop whatever trick room's coming. I do get the bleak wind off. No trick room for you. And we're able to half held the Samurott. Listen, that's decent enough for me. And Ivy Culture should be able to finish you off next turn. Ceaseless Edge now. And we're dodging. Oh, he, I, that, that can miss? What? What is the accuracy on that? Hello? Ninety. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Anyway, bleak. I'm just kidding. Bleak wind followed by. Never mind. Ogre pond flinched. Just bleak. Never mind. Sucks to suck. It. it okay. It hit the samurai. That's all I care about. You guys know why? Because the wind con's in the back. We eliminate the dark type Pokemon, and all that's left is a bunch of Pokemon weak to Psy Spam. Awesome, amazing, wonderful, beautiful. Ogre Pond's coming now. I almost want to do this, so I will. How much damage? Nah, let's hold it. We never know when we're going to need it. Especially against this Ogre Pond, maybe we want to Terrastalize away from fire. So let's just Ivy Cudgel this Iron Hands. Yeah, maybe we should Tailwind too. If they follow me redirect, then I don't think they appreciate an Ivy Cudgel coming out of me though. I'm just chipping this down a little bit. Because that's the one with Assault Vest, maybe. We got the critical hit, too, as they go for the Ivy Cudgel back at us into my Ogre Pond. Listen, Ogre Pond never cared once. Okay, maybe it cares about that. Yeah, it might It might care about that one. But you know what? It's time for the Win Con. It's time to bring out the Win Con. They don't even know. They don't even know. Del Fox, welcome to the game. Now, Fairy Terra, so we don't die to one Ivy Cudgel. Expand thy force. And indeedy hard swap. Let's do it. I can't believe we're doing we're able to do this twice in a row, pretty much the exact same way. <laughs> I, I guess just bringing Psy Spam in the back is just such a good option when you don't have to worry about setting up Trick Room, right? It's like what is what does Delphox have? Like, base 114 special attack, which isn't the greatest, but it's not the worst either. And then 104 speed with 100 base special defense. Like, that's legitimately good. I only have 72 base defense, though, so I hope I could take an Ivy Cudgel, even if I'm not weak to it. I might not be able to, but in all reality, I think the damage is done. Even if I'm able to knock out the Iron Hands here I, and get, like, half health on... 
The Ogre Pond? That's good enough for me. All right. Fox is in love. I love how it fits perfectly on its, like, little ear things. Expanding Force, bop! Nearly bye bye on the Ogre Pond, but straight knockout on the hands. Ivy Cousin now, and Yowch! Oh, into the Ndidi though, yeah, okay, cool. GG. <laughs> More like GGD. We follow me. Which doesn't matter. And we expanding force, because there's no priority on their side of the field. Del Fox to finish the game! Knocking out the Ogre Pond, taking some more KOs in today's video. Did you guys think you're gonna see Del Fox do anything today? Because legitimately, I had my doubts. I definitely had my doubts. But you know what? That's the second game that Del Fox is taking. Let's keep it coming. What a trip indeed. All right. I see some. Some beat up our child on shenanigans. That is honestly annoying. This might be one of the few times. That we actually lead in DD and Del Fox. And the reason for that is I want to follow me redirect. Yeah, I might have to. This is not gonna be an easy game. This might be one of the hardest games we played today, actually. Alright, let's go instant in the back. And bring our Ogre Pond to deal with their Ursh. Alright, I gotta make sure I have the right Pokemon arranged in the right places. I'm not bringing Tailwind, though. So they could lead Tailwind, and they could set me back a couple of pegs. But we're just gonna have to rely a lot on the Pokemon we have in the back. We have to make sure we're able to knock out this Archaladon as soon as possible. What kind of hair? Interesting. Alright, speaking of... Our Chalodon. Our Chalodon's here. I am just gonna side spam right away. I wonder if I should flamethrower instead. Oh wait, I actually have Scorching Sands. So what if I do that? That's technically more damage, I think. Let's go for it. We have to redirect, no matter what, for the next 20 turns, because we cannot allow them to beat up. And I'm curious, if Scorching Sands does about half health, we should be able to go for an Expanding Force next turn. Okay, they just Tailwind. That's fair. Our Chowdown's gonna go for the Electro Shot, but that's gonna take you two turns. So fine. You do that if you'd like. Unless they're Power Herb. They're Power Herb, okay. Fair enough. You can only do that once against me, though. Does about half, okay. That's all we wanted. I'm gonna follow me again. And instead of doing that again, I'm gonna go for Expanding Force in case a Terrasa lies on me right now. Okay, they're not going to Terrasize, so they're just going to protect the Wim, though. Interesting. Ooh, they're trying to see how real I am. Trying to see how real I am. I'm going to keep clicking follow me until the end of the time, believe it or not. I'm crazy. Actually, I'm not that crazy. I consider my, my, my other options here. You think I don't know that they're going to hard swap a Chen Pao into this Whimsicott spot right now? You guys think I don't know that? You guys honestly think I don't know that? I didn't know that. I guessed it. It didn't work. Unlucky. Unfortunate. Big sad. We're dead now. Okay, uh, this is bad. <laughs> this is alarming. Uh, hopefully they're not sashed here, and hopefully I can just get the straight one shot. 
Neat. Okay, good. <laughs> At least they can't beat themselves up. Like that. That's that's the the end goal. That's the end game. That's the happy news. All right. Now. Now what do we do? Um. I'll see if I can bait them. I'll go into my ogre pond here. As they go into the raging bolt. Brother, what do I do against that big giraffe? Like. <laughs> Alright, let's knock off the bolts. Do we scorching do we double up into this bolt? Actually, I think expanding force might be my better option here. I'm ignoring the Archaladon. That's that's why. <laughs> they can't thunderclap us. I have to take advantage of that. Okay, never mind. They're just gonna stall my uh my psychic terrain here. Man, what do I do? I don't think I changed this turn up. All right, our Tailwind Peters, it doesn't matter though. We should be outspeeding them. Oh, they're Tailwind Peters. Yeah, it shouldn't matter. Let me do the exact same thing. I don't think they brought Chen Pao. They would have brought it on the field by now. They had, they had so many opportunities to bring it onto the field. Alright, gonna get a nice crit there. I'll take it. Knock off the lefties. That's always nice. Expanded Force, do some damage, please. Okay. Leaving them at 1 HP, essentially. Now I gotta somehow live two hits. We live that one. And we live that one. Nice. Weirdness disappears. Not nice. But again, we outspeed what they have. But they can thunderclap us now. So I think I'm going to spiky shield the Ogre Pond. Hard swap the NC. I'm going to double swap the NC. Because <laughs> I want to try to catch him off guard on a protect. Let's bring our NC in here. To take any thun to take any thunderclaps from from them, and hopefully let's catch him with the spiky shield on the body press. Okay, they protect there. That's fine. That means I could fake out that slot next turn. Perfect. Actually, ideal body press onto the spiky shield. Is it enough to get the knockout? Come on, come on, come on. Was it enough? I didn't see. Yes. We're gaming today, folks. We are pumped. Who? Everyone stand up. Everyone be standing, Kevin, right now. Watch this. They had the Chen Pao the whole time. You're joking. Now what do I do? Like, that, that literally ruins everything. Oh, boy. I know what to do. Yeah, let's fake out the Chen Pao here. Perfect! Now don't thunderclap my Ogre Pond. Or if you do have Ogre Pond, live it. They go for the double, they messed up. They didn't need to double there. They had to thunderclap something. They didn't choose either one. I guess they really thought I was going to go for the fake out onto that. Raging Bolt, but nah. We're just going for the cudgel, baby. Alright, now they got the singular Chen Pao left. Oh, I know what I have to do. Oh, this game is a lot easier than I thought. L look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're gonna go for the cudgel onto the Chen Pao. We're gonna go for the Poison Terra. Flare Blitch onto Chen Pao. Because they're gonna go for the Sacred onto my Ensign. Or maybe they're going to try to Sucker Punch and pick off the KO on my my Ogre Pond. But at the end of the day... Oh, they're actually going to Terrastalize here. At the end of the day, they can only attack one slot at a time. Alright, there's a Ghost Terra. 
It's alright because they're sashed anyway. We're both pulling out our Terra last turn of this game. That's kind of nuts to consider. That me and my opponent held our Terra for literally this long. Crossbones in C. Poison the water. Ice go crash. Oh, they're going for it. Knocking out my Ogre Pond. But I get the free Flare Blitz. I get the free um, damage on their Focus Sash. Able to make it nice and null and void. Okay. Now we still have our Magician. Speaking of Magician, the, the, the Pokemon steals the held item from any target it hits with a move. Oh, so that's like a pointless ability. Like, I do nothing with that ability because I'm holding an item. I guess it's nice if I get knocked off while I'm Fairy Terra, uh, but still, it's kind of weird. All right, my highest damage output is Expanding Force, so I'm going to Expanding Force, followed by Darkest Lariat. That should be GG. There's a Sucker Punch into my Del Fox, knocking on my Del Fox, but the Insin is still here. The main villain of the story is alive. VGCists beware, it's time to spin and smack you with a lariat. Taking a third dub with the Del Fox. A bunch of fast games today's video. I'm gonna go ahead, stick a last one here at the end. See if we can continue to streak. Typically when I do this, we lose the last one. I don't intend to this time. Maybe, I guess we'll see. It's, it's, it's only 50% up to me. Anyway, on to the next. And X, rocking the uh, Trick Room team. Okay, so one Dark type on their side of the field, that being the Incine. We have a Watersh to deal with the Incine, but of course they do have redirection in the form of in the form of the Sinistra. Okay, I think an Ogre Palm with a knockoff might be our best way to deal with the Ferrigiraf stuff. I'm gonna go Ogre Pond and Didi, bring my Psy Spammer in the back, and then end off with a little bit of... with a little bit of Urshifu. I really hope they don't bring Sinistra. Because if they do, I might lose. Honestly, and X has a pretty decent team over here pretty scary and it looks like it could hurt pretty darn bad I'll be real but nothing that Del Fox maybe can't handle oh this is my fourth game ever using this Pokemon so <laughs> I guess we'll see what we got all right nice shoes Sinistra and Golden Go the two things I didn't want to see are both here at the exact same time great um I think I know what I have to do. I'm gonna go for the knockoff, and I'm gonna go for the helping hand. And I'm gonna hope they don't terastalize their golden go quite yet. I'm throwing everything at this golden go. Every last thing that I have in my being and my soul. Going for this non-stab attack. They don't terastalize. Get ready, golden go. You better run. Big ol' knockoff bop! Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> off to a good start, knocking off the leftovers. As they scald? Who cares? No burn, so I really don't care. Scald Sinistra? Okay. In a pr wait, hold up. I might not I, I might be just fine. So what's stopping me from just doing this now? Like <laughs> Now I'm gonna tear- now I'm who needs- who needs Delphox? I got Ogre Pond. I got the Teal Mask on my side. You're fishing for burns? Good luck. Primarina, what you got? Yep, I'm just gonna do this. Give me that speed boost, thank you. Give me that teal mask. Thank you. Give me that two times stab plus miracle seed. 
on this ogre pond. This is scary, dude. Give me this helping hand. I don't even. I don't need this much damage. Okay, never mind. I'm sad now. I should have gone for the knockoff on the side mon probably. Do they just trick room now? No, they're fishing for burns still. They got it. It's okay, I wanted to use a magician anyway. <laughs> um Honestly, I don't think I I'm going to keep doing it though. Like yes, sure I'm burned, but what is my higher damage output right now than this? This is my highest damage output. There's no way I can cut around it. Like this is the best way that I can do damage currently in this moment. We force a Terra. I'll take that. Yikes, there's steel? That's the one I didn't want to see. Oh god. Maybe we have to go for the knockoff on the Sinister next turn. I'm burning my Psychic Terrain turns. I might also have to swap out my Ndidi just to preserve it for my my Delphox in the back. We're still doing decent chunks. Are they Machi Gacha now? Yeah, Machi Gacha and Skull. That's a little aggressive. Then Hyper Voice my Didi. Yeah, I gotta switch out this Didi. I gotta preserve this terrain. Now their throat spraying. Okay. Problem, problem, problem. Wee woo, wee woo. This is bad. Yeah, Urshifu is probably the, the nice swap that I can do. Knock off into Sinistra. Swap into my Ursh. Hopefully they don't Macha Gacha again. But they probably will. They haven't rage powdered yet either. I wonder what their their like move is. Oh, even better, leave. Yeah, get out of here. Knock off the item, whatever comes in. Eh, I'll take that. This intimidate on my Urshi doesn't really matter. And I still have psychic terrain on the field, so they can't even go for a fake out next turn. Best case scenario. If they had a berry, it's gone now. Yep. Awesome. I'm sad! I lost. I I somehow lost the game. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's definitely not looking great. I have to predict Primarina to go for Protect here. So I'm going to Helping Hand. And I'm going to go for the Scorching Sands onto the Sinsen. Dang it, they swapped the Insin out. Ugh. I, I, I deserve this. I got so cocky turn one. <laughs> oh, and then the burn messes me up. They do protect though, so I guess I uh, at the end of the day I made the right play there, so. All right, weirdness disappears. Listen, I'm going to try it again. Does the instant swap back in? I'm going for the fire move, just in case they redirect it with Rage Powder. It looks like the instant's not swapping, so I might have made the right choice. Yeah, they redirect it with Rage Powder, though. That's GG. I'm going to one-shot the Sinisha. It's not going to matter, though. This Primarina with the Steel Terra and the Sinisha with the Scald really messing me up, man. Hyper Voice, I'm dead. Bro! 
We couldn't get the three and we couldn't get the four and oh man. I got so the second I knocked out that golden goal, I was like, this game's over. I'm the best player ever. Urgh. And then I got burned on my ogre pawn. Got so cocky. Andy or Andex. GG's. You got this. Anyway, thank you so much, Porgy Blast, for posting this team on the Pokey Sports Discord. Remember, if you guys want to go ahead and post your teams and have it appear maybe on the channel, post it on our Pokey Sports Discord. Links to that are down below in the description. Also, links to our Patreon and memberships are down below in the description as well if you want some more Pokey Sports in your life. Also, remember, every Friday we have a podcast that comes out both on the channel and on pretty much every single podcast provi provider that exists. And if you're a Tier 2 member, you get an exclusive 20 to 30 minute a banter podcast that has typically nothing to do with Pokemon and is just us talking. Anyway, that's today's video. Thank you so much, Porgy Blast, again for posting this team there. I had an absolute Porgy Blast with it on the channel. You know, you know I love me some size spam. So we, when we get to run size spam with Delphox, a Pokemon that's not very used, not very common, it's always a fun time. And it's actually like one of the fastest size spam users that we currently have at the moment. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your evening. I'm Kevin Swing Sports. Peace out and bye-bye.